How's it going? So, I'm just another video of proving engagement optimized matchmaking 100% exists. 100% exists. So, this was yesterday. So, all of these games were yesterday. Right? So, this is Trinda. Trinda Tank won the game. Four in a row on Garen. And I have other accounts where I was just stomping. I was basically stomping for the whole day. And. This is not some, some people are like, oh, you know, like he's like bronze, hard stock, whatever. This is mid platinum MMR, right? Mid plat, well, low platinum MMR. Like, right? you see, we have plat 3, plat 3, plat 4, plat 4, plat 4, plat 4, gold 2, smurf, and me in here. Okay, so this is like low to mid platinum MMR, right? And look at my team, we're just stomping, absolutely stomping every single game, right? You see? Basically, yesterday, for the whole day, because I was checking my lobby, I did not have a single person who had less than 70% win rate. For the whole day. For the whole day. So I played, like, I think, eight games or, like, whatever, like, maybe nine. And just stopped. 100% win rate, right? So I was like, okay. Tomorrow is going to be the, the, the loser's queue. Right? And lo and behold, my first game, I get counterpicked, and my bot gets absolutely stomped. I, I specifically said to this guy, the, the mid laner, well, not the mid laner, this guy, I specifically told him the mid laner is very good, he's probably going to win. We need to focus on the dragons, because I can't do shit against uh, Mordekaiser as Garen. I mean, it's just it's shit is unplayable. Right? But I said, okay, fine, they technically have no frontline. I was honestly banking on Kha'Zix being shit. I was basically banking on the whole team being shit and only Mordekaiser being the problem. But Mordekaiser, the, the, like, fundamentally the issue was um, this guy just did not want to take the objectives and Kha'Zix played correctly. Ka Kha'Zix played correctly. He basically uh, ganked the bot lane. I'm actually going to make a video after this one explaining how to play League of Legends fundamentally, right? Because people don't understand what they're doing. He played correctly. The role of the jungler is very, very simple. Kill the bot lane, take the objective, the dragon. Kill the bot lane, take the dragon. Kill the bot lane, take the dragon, right? That's it. That's the whole purpose of the jungle. Is Everything is around... Well, I'm going to talk about it later, okay? But he did his role correctly. I roamed twice bot lane when we had opportunity to take dragon but this guy opted to jungle farm he was basically jungle farmer right and as a result we kind of lost the game but like also honestly Kazix just was a too good of a player to be honest with you he just he played correctly he played correctly he did everything that the jungler supposed to do whereas our bot lane got stumped because of Kazix and we did not capitalize on Kha'Zix cooldowns, so there was like one time they had no ults and no smite, and we could have just taken the dragon for free, but again, like, they just refused, refused to do it, and you see, as a result, like, game just snowballed, and then Mordekaiser, they had basically four, um, they had a dragon soul, and with four Earth Dragons, Mordekaiser just 1v5, basically. Honestly, it was just un unkillable. He was just literally unkillable. Because this this item here, together with the Dragon Soul of the... What do you call it? The Earth Dragon is just... It's, like, it's unkillable. Just unkillable shit. And, of course, he just stomped everyone. Because we had absolutely no damage, because Severe was underfed. Our fist could only eliminate one target, so he either killed Kha'Zix or Talon. I'm Tank Garen, who is completely useless, right? Because my, my whole gameplay is resolves around the bot lane. And if bot lane gets stumped, I'm kind of, honestly, I'm kind of useless. Completely useless. So, you see, we had technically one player, which was Fizz, and that's it. And our only win condition was to take Dragons... And we failed to do that, and then that's it. That was just game over, right? Honestly, I made a mistake playing this game because when you get counter pick like this, um, 
it's too risky it's too risky normally i would dodge but because of my yesterday experience again you see you get the ego boost you think that you're a god i was like nah nah um, my team is gonna stomp our only problem with moider kaiser i'm not gonna feed him right and then uh, severe is just gonna deal with him right but now I'm thinking to myself now, like Kaiser is, um, Mordekaiser as a champion breaks my strategy because he can just press R and eliminate ADC from the team fight. And like my whole purpose is to protect the ADC and I cannot counterplay him pressing R and just eliminating the ADC. So you see like, for me it was basically, I made a mistake by playing this game. That was my mistake. But honestly, when I saw performance and how my team was moving around the map, except for Fizz, of course, Fizz was a rock star, I was like, okay, I'm probably in the loser's queue today. So, voila, I am in the loser's queue today. I won the game, like my next game I played, I won, not the next one, but I mean the one that I decided to play, but I had to dodge like 18 dodges out of 19 games. What's that play rate? So... 18 dodges out of 19. 6%, 6% play rate. And I started kind of um, tracking some of the teams that I get. Jesus Christ, look. That was the next game. So after the Garen game, I was like, okay, I'm gonna... Well, I'm gonna do the usual, which is gonna check my teammates. Look at this. 44% on Nami, and Nami is a shit champion. 0% win rate Nidalee, 0% win rate Kaisa, right? And that's me, like, uh, Garen here and Cannon 53%. I mean, what are we going to do with 0% Nidalee and Kaisa in the team? So, okay, that's a dodge. Let's look at next one. Um, 48 on Varvik, he's on a winning streak, he's probably doing really well. But Varvik, okay, he's, he's a good champ, like, good, good champ, but not the best. Honestly, if you don't play him correctly, like, you can fuck up Warwick very easily, honestly. If you just build some kind of squishy build, and he gonna get one-tapped, basically, right? So, Varus is a shit champ, 56% of Varus. Now, this guy picked um, Vigar for no reason whatsoever. I have no idea why he picked him. And then we had Kai'Sa with 89% win rate, so pretty good, right? But I thought to myself, okay, we have... Um, mid lane Kai'Sa, right, Vigar, which is first timer, Varus, who is useless, and Varvik, which is a dodgy champion, because you can, like, like, do you remember I told you, I showed you the Udyr, who was just, the champion is OP, but the way he plays him, he made him useless, so I thought to myself, no, nah, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go for this, this, this game, we had Jin. Like, only only champs we had was Jin and Swain. And I could not assess this guy. And I could not assess this guy. So, again, that's a dodge. This one, 51%. Uh, Talon, 42%. Lysine, I mean, shit champ, shit champ. 33% Caitlyn, shit champ, right? 60% Ariana. So, oh, right? Lysine, high skill champion. Talon, useless champion. 33% Caitlyn is completely useless. Right? We only had 60% Oriana, so that's a dodge. Next one. Okay. Pix Echo. Not Echo main. Right? 60% win rate overall, but does not play Echo. Well, that, that's, that's strange. This guy, 25% win rate Velkos. We only had basically uh, Jin in here. And... I could not assess this guy, he was Lux. But you see what I'm saying? Like, compare that to yesterday, where I had every single player who had, like, over 65-70% win rate. They're all on roll, they all play their own champions. Like, why is the client behaving like this? Why is the client behaving? Because you're in a loser's queue, right? And when you're placed in a loser's queue, you're gonna get this shit, right? This one, this game was okay, I was thinking of playing, but man, I don't like Vladimir. Vladimir as a champion is absolutely garbage. And Nocturne, 59%, garbage champion, right? Uh, Israel, garbage champion. 0% win rate on this guy, so that's another dodge. 
Okay, so this game was 48 Zyra. Zyra is a shit champion. 44 Misfortune. Okay, Misfortune is a good champ. Zyra is useless. Um, Yasuo 60%, okay, and then 67. This game was kind of maybe playable, but the problem is you don't see what was on the enemy team. Enemy team was just jacked. I was like, oh man, no way we're winning this. Like, there's just no way. I think they even had Darius on their team, and I was like, oh my god, no way. So that's another dash. So we have 78 trash in here, 77. This this game was good. This game was looking very, very good. Then this guy picks Warwick. I have no idea. He never played Warwick before. He has 25% win rate, so I mean, that's very dodgy. I think he's an off-roll. Right, and then this guy picks Vigor. I was like, where is Vigor? Right, so I'm just thinking, okay, so we only have basically bot lane, which is good. Uh, we have Varvik, which is dodgy in here. Doesn't And, and this guy, first time or Vigor, right? So that's the yikes. And you have to remember, I know that I'm in the loser's queue, so I know they're not going to perform super well. Right, I know that. In here it was, what was it in here? 54 Ezreal, Ezreal is a shit champ. Zed was good, 89%. And then we got Warwick out of nowhere. Just pulled, the guy just pulled Warwick out of nowhere. I was like, and then Zyra was pulled out of nowhere. So I was like, are they for first timers? Right, and again, Zyra is not a good champ. So I dodged, right? Now this was Anivia J4 came out of nowhere. I couldn't understand, like, Jinx 50%, uh, Yumi is not really a champion, it's a shit champ, and then the rest of them just picked like Anivia and J4, I couldn't find them, so I dodged, right, next game, I was against Nasus, so my strategy does not work against Nasus, where I roam like crazy and I completely ignore the lane, if my team does not get fed enough, it's just, it's, um, it's not gonna work, and we have Lee Sin, with 36% win rate, right? 36% win rate Lee Sin, who is useless. Like, Lee Sin is very bad into Nasus. Yeah, like, if you're a good player, he's maybe okay, but I mean, against a shit player, it's it's, it's very easy to to beat Lee Sin as Nasus. Like, it's, again, um, Zoe is a shit champ. R Rakan is pretty good. So you see, like, we had good bot lane. If we didn't have these two, I would have played this. And another problem was Nasus. So I have to dodge. This one was ADC, 60% win rate. That's okay. Ani came out of nowhere. And then Yumi came out of nowhere. I could not find them in here at all. I'm assuming this guy just picked Yumi because he main support. And then we had 35% Kane, so that's a dodge. Right? Like now Tilus, Ari, and Vayne, um, I think, came out of nowhere in here. So Echo, 63%, was okay. And then just random champions. <coughs> like, where is Ari? Like, who out of... Okay, so 67, Ari, three games. Okay. So it's probably this guy. But you see, his win rate was very, very low. So I was like, ah. Uh. And then we had 17% win rate guy. Like, guy on 17% win rate. I was like... Not really worth the risk. Not really worth the risk, right? Then in here we have Action Zack came out of nowhere. We had 43% Morgana. And then 11% Caitlyn. 11%. Jesus, like I've never seen such a low win rate. So I was like, no, that's a that. But you see what I'm saying? Like, compare that to yesterday. I am the same person, same accounts. Everything is the same. Yesterday, I get like faker on my team every single day. Like every single game was just faker on my team. And today it's just some shitters, like 11% win rate, like 0% win rate. Like how often can you get 0% win rate? Players on your team, very rare. And for the whole day, for the whole day they're in your team. Why is that? Because they are the fish. Remember I told you, there are players on the server that just want to give their LP to the enemy team. Now, the problem today is I'm on their team, right? <clears throat> Yesterday, I was on the opposite side. Today, I'm on their team. 
And I mean, look at this. Look at this shit. This was game 15, I think, right? Yes, yeah, so we have Ezreal, 71% win rate, which, which is good. Ramos, OP champion, 25% win rate. Still okay. Still okay. You know, I'm, I'm like, Ramos is an OP champ, right? I mean, if you have shitty win rate, but if your team is good, Ramos is going to be useful. Right? Then Ziggs came out of nowhere, and then Zed came out of nowhere. And look at the enemy team. Now, what I'm saying is that, you see, you look at my kind of cherry-picking lobbies, and you say, oh, you should have played that game, but you don't see what the enemy has. And I just decided to screenshot. Look look at their team. So Ziggs is first-timer, Ramos 25% win rate, S is a shit champ, and this guy picks Zed, right? So that's Zed in here. Look at their team. Severe. Now, she's not super broken, but she's quite strong. Zack, completely overpowered champion. Fizz is okay. Not super good, but I mean, he's pretty good. Now, T was busted. This champ is just busted. And Darius against Garen. So I'm counterpicked, right? So I'll be useless. So again, I had to dodge. And like this shit for the whole day, for the whole day, this shit. That's because you're marked in loser's queue. And I, I'm thinking that, so, my final game I played was actually this one here. It was this, this game here I played. I won it, and I won it barely. I barely, barely won it. So their top laner went 0-5, because, I mean, Vladimir into Trindamir is kind of suicide. Um, and this is, like, mid-gold level. So I basically murdered their mid laner, then... Their entire team showed up top, and I started to panic. I was like, oh my god. Again, the entire team is showing up on my, in my in my lane. And twice they screwed up a dragon. I pinged, I told them, please take the dragon, please take the dragon. They didn't, right? So the only reason why we ended up taking dragons and barons is because I actually... I was like, I gotta finish the laning phase as soon as possible. So I basically... I basically like started pushing and just roaming, pushing and roaming. At one point, I just gave up pushing. I just roamed. That's why you see my like uh, my farm is just super low, because I was just like, dude, like if I don't babysit them, this Yasuo was getting giga fed. Like I'm talking giga fed, and I was like, dude, I gotta kill him, right? So I had to. I end, basically the three team fights that we won was because I killed the Yasuo. That's it. He was literally almost killing my entire team. So I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta prioritize killing Yasuo, and then that's it. Past that point, it was okay. Right, this guy was a rock star, this Tariq player. He was very, very good. Right, this guy was just the usual brain dead uh, kind of like player who just does shit for the sake of doing shit. He like there was no thinking in what he was doing whatsoever. He just jumps into the middle, um, I don't know, stops attacking, moves away somewhere. Like there was just. I was like, what the fuck is the guy doing? You know, like, what is it? Like, what is he trying to accomplish? And this guy was, uh, I don't know, like maybe two games. He doesn't have a lot of experience. But that's this lobby here. So you can see that um, Kiana was not very experienced. You can see that Tarik is very, very experienced. I mean, he plays Tarik only, 89% win rate. So thus it shows in his gameplay, right? Zach was kind of dodgy. Because you see, he plays almost everything. And Kiana was dodgy. And Kaisa, I couldn't assess her. But she was not very good. Just not a good player. It's like she wasn't even a factor in the game. Right, so... And the only reason, honestly, in my opinion, if they kept playing, they would have won the game. In my opinion. But uh, they lost because this guy could not... Um, this guy basically afk because he died so many times and he was so useless. Um, <clears throat> but I mean, it's Vladimir. Do you know what I mean? Like, what is Vladimir going to do? I mean, that's zero damage. So. And look, like, he's the, one of the lowest levels in the game. But you see, the, our problem was, like, if they were smart, they would have just kept playing and we would have lost. I guarantee you. Because, like, these guys are so bad. Like, these three... Like, and they would have a scale because, I mean, I was kind of effective because it's mid-game. 
like early to mid game, but late game I would have been useless, right? Vladimir would have pressed the button, I would have died basically, but barely won, barely won. And I picked Trinda, like normally I play Garen, but I took Trinda because I looked at their team and I was like, okay, Trinda is OP into this guy, this guy, and in lane against this guy. And I was like, hmm. Because, you see, he went Conqueror, so he was doing actually pretty good damage. But uh, if he would have went, what do you call it, Phase Rush, he would have been doing even less damage. So I was like, okay, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. That's kind of a shit champ. So, and these guys are suicidal. Because they go in, there's no follow-up, right? So I, I definitely knew I'm going to zero fight this guy, right? No problem, like 5-0. Like, Vladimir always feeds. There's just no... He has no counterplay against you. It's either he's going to be like 0-5, or he's going to be like 100 CS behind. Because I was... I froze on him, and he was three levels down. I was level 8, he was level 5... But I was like, shit, if I continue the freeze, we're going to lose the game. That's why I kind of unfroze it. Um, but I'll show you. Like, literally, I'm going to show you. Because, I mean, some people would be like, eh, you know, he's making shit up, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'll show you. Like, I was like level 7 or he was like level 5, but I was definitely level 8 and he was level 5 at one point, for sure. But again, you see, how do you get, like, how does, how does League of Legends client know to put you into the loser's queue? Like, how does it know? I'm trying to understand, maybe, maybe I should just... But honestly, like, I kind of don't want to play League, honestly. I'm just playing because I have free time right now. And I want to prove to myself that engagement optimized matchmaking is actually real. And it's not something I'm making up, you know? So this guy, let's see. So look, you see, he's like 0-2 at this stage. So I'm level 8. Yeah, it's probably before this. I think I pushed him here. No, it's before. So you see, I'm level 7 and he is level 5, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He just couldn't play. Like, like, he just couldn't play. At all. So you see, this was just happening all the time, all the time. Like, you see, lane is in my position, and he's just, like, sitting here. Like, you see? Like, the wave is just here, he approaches, I smack him, and he runs away. And that's it. This is like, he doesn't know what to do, you know what I mean? Like, uh, we are still winning, but I was like... I started panicking when I when I saw how they move around the map, my teammates, right? Because, like, like, one thing is having good score, but another thing is seeing how your teammates move around the map and why they're doing certain things. Because I looked at the score, and then I looked at what they're doing. I was like, shit, we might actually lose this game. Right? Because, I mean, you have to remember that it's, uh, like, how to say... It's whoever has the feeder in the team usually loses, right? And if they move around the map w really strangely, like they go... Well, I don't know, you just get a feel that this guy can potentially just like run into their jungle at like 25 minutes right before the dragon uh, for no reason whatsoever. They were behaving a little bit like that, so I was like, oh my god. In here, like that's about, in here, about 8 minutes, I figured out, man, I need to, un like, I need to not freeze. 
because you see like there's like what two players in here I think right they are running away jungler is going and they are just you see like nobody's attacking I was actually watching this from from top like from here and I was like holy shit why is nobody attacking then I saw that this guy is level 5 I was like what the hell is going on in here You see, like, just Yasuo one refining basically, you see? Tarik again being a rockstar. Kiana is being shit as usual. But again, you see, like, Kiana is a champion that can, can get screwed up easily. I think Ezra is gonna come up. At this stage, I was kind of worried. But I have to say, this is bullshit, look. Like, he has 451 move speed. I have 488 and I cannot catch up to him. Do you see? Do you see? Like he's moving as fast as me. Like tell me that's not a bug, right? Like I'm not catching up to him. And I have 40 more move speed. This is actually bugs like this, they make a trim a little bit useless. Right? I actually thought maybe I'm gonna die here, right? If he had his uh, Q, like super Q, his like, a, you know, buffed Q coming up, I would have died in here, basically. Oh god. And again, I'm playing Trindemir, I'm thinking to myself, shit, this chap is useless. If they, like, hard feed, I can't carry, because Trindemir is a bad champion. But man, like, it's such a difference. Today versus yesterday, it's just such a difference. I mean, you have to understand, like, the level of... The level is the same. Like, it's the same shit. But, like, why is the client? It's because it's loser skill. That's why, you know. There's not much you can do. You see? And, I mean, the only way you can do it is to dodge... But I mean, you're what? You're gonna be playing one game out of 20, and then if you keep going, it's gonna get even worse. Yeah. So again, you see, like, there's no way to play the game. Like, there's just, there's no way to cut through engagement optimized matchmaking efficiently. Because when you're in a winner's queue, everything works. I mean, look, look at my account. I mean, like, what the, what is this? Where is that account? Look at this. Trindemir tank also works in winner's queue. That's why people say, you know, um, the, we have this guy, he's like Twisted Fate AD, he got to like Masters. Dude, if you play enough games, Trindemir tank will also get to Masters. But all you're doing is just rotating, you're just coin flipping. Right? And the only way to kind of guarantee a win is just to dodge, 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 and that's a dodge, dodge, dodge. Like, like, one out of 20, you're gonna play one out of 20, just how much? I was, I was dodging for three hours. Like, three hours I was dodging. And I barely won the game. Barely. The only reason why we won is because they, they screwed up, they FF'd. But I'm pretty sure we would have lost it. Compare that to my yesterday, where my team was just absolutely stomping. Just like, like, look at my Caitlyn. Like in, the, in this game, like, look at, like, look at that. It's just insane. Well, not Caitlyn, but well, I, I, I played the game with Caitlyn, right? Yesterday. Yeah. NV access, right? Good KDA, good farming, good damage. Everything's cool. As opposed to today, Caitlyn, who had 11% win rate. So, I mean, engagement optimized matchmaking, what can you do, you know? But I'm waiting for a hard drive to arrive, so I decided to basically install Fortnite. I'm probably gonna play Fortnite. 
my, my problem is um, my hard drive on this computer, it's a laptop, it's very, very tiny. It's like 250 gigs, so it's already almost full. So I can't play games like GTA and Fortnite, so I'm kind of stuck to only these games. But I, I think if I have bigger selection, I can just not play League, you know. Because I like the game, like I have not, but this engagement optimized matchmaking, that's the problem. It makes the game literally unplayable, completely unplayable. Because this coin flipping bullshit is like, what, what kind of game experience is this? You come in, you have 11% win rate, Caitlyn on your team, um, you get stumped, then the, the switch happens, and then you're playing against 11% win rate, Caitlyn. Now, you just win, and that's it, like, I mean... And as you can see, like, almost anything works. Mundo works, Garen works, Trindamir freaking tank works. A anything works in the winner's queue. So that's my thesis for today. That's my rant. My overall conclusion is still the same. Game is unplayable, unfortunately, right? So I'm going to be... Well, honestly, I have no further need for to play probably I'll probably switch to one on one or Fortnite something like that I played I tried Valorant man what a shit game honestly this recoil in Valorant is driving me insane it's just it's so stupid like you point at the champion uh, you try to shoot and the bullets just fly in completely random direction completely random like, this guy was passing by, I pressed, I did not even aim at him, and see, he somehow died. Like, I, I, I was like, what the hell is going on? So, and again, you see, Valorant is a riots game, so a lot of random bullshit in there. I, my, my theory is that the reason why the recoil is so random is because they want to control... Um, they're kind of doing what, they, I think it was uh, Call of Duty or something where they were nerfing good people's aim. So if you're a good player, they want to balance the lobby. Obviously, if you're like a superstar, you're just going to headshot everybody. But they need to give a chance to other team to win. So they're going to make your bullets fly randomly off the cursor. So you won't be able to do your superstar thing. Now, in, in their defense, I noticed that on one... Um, gun, which is Vandal. The first bullet always flies correctly. Like So if you can learn how to one-tap, which is very, very difficult, then technically you can outplay the engagement optimized matchmaking. But overall, other guns, there's just no way. It's just too random. Completely too random. Alright? So that's my thesis for today. Take care. Bye-bye.